Fun. Go. All right, so we're back with part five of our payback, pre-payback, I guess, evaluation here. Uh, so this, we're, we're going to look at the Dean Ambrose uh, and Chris Jericho match, which has been set up because of the Ambrose. Uh, That's right. Mm -hmm. Which actually, that, that whole skit with the plant. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, whoa, not around the plant, man. He's got his own uh, plant. plant. Yeah, no, that was, it was, I think for how short of a time they set it up, and I think it was pretty well set up. Well, that's one of those things, like, is, is it dumb? Yeah. Did they actually have something to set it up as ridiculous as it is? Yeah, which is more than a lot of things yep. last pay-per-view. Yeah, no, it's a step in the right direction. I'm just surprised Jericho is still around. Yeah, he seems to not be going anywhere anytime soon, which maybe Fozzie is not really working out there. You know, I, I, you know, you know what? I, I, I'm not I'm complaining. complaining. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, hoping that they were working back into the role they enjoy doing of putting over guys who need pushes. That would be great. Like, he's healing it up on the internet and talking about how he's going to bury everybody. And, yep. I mean, why do Jack? No, nobody plays an entitled jackass quite as well as Chris Jericho. Right. I've, I've loved Jericho for years. You yeah, stupid he, idiot. He's. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, I mean it. It's one of those guys that you, you love to love and you love to hate. Uh, that being said, Dean Ambrose, top five guy for me on the roster. Yeah. Uh, like like Yoda said earlier, is he's the guy from the Shield that deserves to push. Uh, probably your biggest face on the roster right now. And. I mean that's that's saying a lot because there's some other guys in in Styles and even Cesaro again and Sami Zayn Sami Zayn that are very much over but he's well and that's the thing is you look at it there's just what you listed like there's four guys who really could be a top face for the company yep. and they're doing, doing other things, things. well kind of but <laughs> no and and I mean I on the one side of it I I get like why you lean away from Ambrose because he's not necessarily a physical specimen although he's really good in the ring he's more of kind of a hardcore guy I get that but still you need to be putting a title on him well on the whole like if he doesn't have the look it's who so, cares it's so much BS because like the three of us could care less we, we care about the work in the ring yeah. and, and or if you it's have, about the story and, and or if you have a personality that can you know Compensate for a lack of technical aptitude. Yep, yep. Um, and the thing is, like, the majority of their audience is at this that point now. Yeah. You've got a smarter audience overall. You're, n nobody's believing the prayers and vitamins training. Like, that's not what works. And, and I guess in the reason he doesn't exist. Who? Who are you talking about? Who is this yeah. mythical creature you speak of? Uh, Though I guess like Triple H actually in an interview pretty much made the point that there, there's not really any you know super good guy anymore like that's not gonna work so somebody at least kind of gets it so yeah well, that's good uh, I think this could be a decent match no I mean uh, that my my thought on it is you got two guys who definitely know how to work the ring however I think you got two guys who know how to work the ring but are a little bit different in styles. Uh, I think, you know, you got Ambrose, who's a little bit more crash and smash. Uh, and you've got Jericho, who's now he's starting to get up in age a little bit more. and Less high fly than he wants yep, to. Yeah, you start, yeah. You're starting to, he's starting to slow down, and then so be it. Everybody gets there. The, the, they did slap on the line of Ambrose. Oh, sorry. The walls of Jericho. Okay. Uh, on, on the announce table. Yep, that did happen. W which makes it so much more vicious. Yeah. Because uh, it matters where it happens. Because that was Paige's thing for a while. I don't know if you were watching it all during that point where she was Probably putting not. on submission holds uh, on the announce know, table. Though hers doesn't even actually have the person in contact at the table at all. Which uh, she actually yelled at Jericho on social media for for stealing her bit, <laughs> and then they got to a back and forth. Interesting. Which, once again, Jericho kind of rules. Well, he at dealing. That's yes. another one. I like Paige. She's very. Don't, don't but, like anybody but, but that got liking likes. wrestlers. Yeah. Though, as we all remember, Roman Reigns is his favorite wrestler. Yeah, yep. That was will continue <laughs> if you're watching WWE. Roman Reigns, guy's favorite wrestler. 
he's going to get the Roman Empire shirt or whatever the fuck. I, I, I actually right. found a shirt for you. Remind me later. It's good. Okay. But, uh, so yeah. I think, I think, I mean, I think we're going to see a match. It's just going to be a match. It's going to be fun to watch. Uh, especially since you got two guys who can work the crowd, can work the camera, can work each other in a ring. And well, the, their promo is as ridiculous as the premise of the Ambrose Sound taking over for, for the highlight reel was. Like, they've made that work in yeah. a way that... I don't know that there's anybody else in the card who could have. Yeah, no, it's... Yeah. It, and it, it just... I, I love... I love the way they went with both of them, of just having Ambrose just... The most insane things are what are what concerns him, and and Jericho being just back to screaming at the crowd. Yeah, and, yeah. back to being the crybaby, and and it'll be a, it'll be a good match. Outcome guy, unless um, we have anything else to discuss in the match, I I don't have anything else. I think Jericho leaves his scarf on, wrestles with it on, and uh, Ambrose wins because Jericho's an idiot right now, and I'm gonna start feuding with him. Right here, if you watch this. Yeah. But, but, but his me. boots cost more than your van. Yeah, you can get a hold of me. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. Come on, Jericho. Yeah, I mean, there was a point where I would have said it's obviously Ambrose because Jericho just puts over young talent. But then WrestleMania happened, so yep. I'm still going to say Ambrose, but it's far more tentative than it would have been. Uh, I'm going to go. This is my one where I'm going to go Jericho because it doesn't make sense. Uh, I, I mean, I agree. Jericho puts over talent, but well, it's like I said about WrestleMania too, though. It depends on is he sticking around. Yeah. Like, is, is he going to stay on television following this so that he could continue? Yep. A few, because I honestly have a feeling that originally they they intended to have him continue to feud with Styles following WrestleMania, and that's why he went over. Except then they actually made the realization of just how over AJ Styles already was. Yeah. And shifted him to a different program. Yep. I would agree that that's probably what happened. And, and the thing is, is with they can do whatever they want with Jericho. Yeah, I mean, he can feud with anybody. And you know what? It, like I said, if he's a face, people are gonna love him. If he's a heel, people are gonna love to hate him. Yeah, he's 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 in still in amazing shape. As long as he's sticking around. A very Roddy Piper esque shape. Uh, he so much looks like Roddy Piper now. <laughs> Have you looked at him? Yeah. Seriously, take Roddy Piper's face, put it next to Jericho's face. Do this at home. Take pictures yeah. of each of them and put them next to one another. They look very similar. Post it in the comments. He can never fill Roddy Piper's kilt. Yeah. I, I don't know. Piper's pit highlight reel. They're, yeah, they're both amazing, amazing guys. <laughs> I, I love both of them. So. But yeah, no, that, that's... Uh, however, you know what? Piper edges out. You know why? Rest in peace. Rest in peace. When you ain't got neither, you might as well just call it a day. Cash them all in. But yeah, so, so, uh, somewhere I have a stupid junior bread magnet because, like, when I was in sixth grade, they made a stupid, stupid cork board magnets. Okay. And it happened to be plaid, like. Outfits, so mine's wearing a kilt, has icon written on it because that, nice. that was that face. That was that face, yeah. Which uh, treasured yeah. school, school, but yeah, that's I, I don't think we have anything else about that particular match. It, it's gonna be a good match. No, it's once again a better match than a lot of matches that I've ever seen. And I hope Jericho watches this and gets a hold of me. Thank you. When I threaten Owens all your attitude, he's likely to respond to you. If I was going to threaten somebody, I'd be like, I don't want to threaten Dean Ambrose, but he's the kind of guy that would fight in something that I could fight in because I have no skills, but I will, like, bust light bulbs over my head and get thrown through tables. So, I'll, hey, Dean Ambrose. Smack about Kevin Steen. I mean, Owens. 